I watched President Trump last night with Tucker Carlson, and I have one word, magnificent. But let me tell you why, before you extrapolate that too much. A couple of quick observations. Number one, kudos to Tucker for basically sitting there like a potted plant, not saying anything. Nobody wants to hear you. It wasn't about you. Number two, rather ironic that somebody who apparently was so vociferous and anti-Trump in the alleged uh, text messages that are part of the Dominion suit could sit there and all of a sudden <laughs> remark on the president's ostensible stability and gravity and whatever. Fine. Number three, you're always going to find something maybe you didn't like or liked. Presentations like this are like a movie. I happen to like The Godfather. It's my favorite movie of all time. Why? The totality. A particular scene? No. A particular reason? No. A particular, were, were all scenes great? No. Could there have been editing? Of course. But I liked the feeling. And what I liked from that was the feeling. The feeling that I got from President Trump. And if anybody was paying attention, the one area where he was the most important and lethal in terms of his message. And this should have been flagged by his political advisors and the like. It's when he talks about nuclear war and nukes and Russia and China. Recently, there's been a discussion about what can the Republicans do, or ostensibly Trump, to target and to focus upon Gen Z young people. And He's not going to be able to offer too much about climate change or whatever these other things are or transgender. I don't think he's, he's going to be uh, delivering anything. They want to hear about that. But the one thing that is a refrain among young people more than anything without exception is the notion of nukes. Take his presentation. He looked paternalistic. By the way, he doesn't age. You can say whatever you want. Since we've, every time we see Biden, he hits a new nadir, a new, a new low. He is uh, free-falling in terms of his decrepitude and senescence. And I'm sorry, but that's just the truth. I'm not trying to be mean. It's the truth. Trump never ages. He never ages. And it's, 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 it's quite unique, okay? But, and that, by the way, that's important when you're talking about somebody who is free-falling in terms of the decrepitude department. Uh, it, it's good when you yourself seem to be <laughs> frozen in time. But the issue that he is the most important is that of the paternalistic, the serious Trump, the fatherly Trump, the grandfatherly Trump, the concerned Trump who talks about the power of this wonderful resetting, this reorganization of the world, and how today's threats are so immane, so huge, so horrible, so inconceivable, that something has to be done immediately to address that. That is what should be done. That should be done in terms of the focus, and that, if he is serious, if he is serious about running, that will get not only the middle of the road, the undecided, the independent voter, but the much coveted, much cherished youth and Gen Z voter. That was that was worth the price of admission. Touche, sir.